Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making her cornbread salad for y'all today. And here's all the ingredients. I'll let her go through the ingredients and explain everything. The first thing you do is make your pan of cornbread. And, and if you wanna see her uh, cornbread recipe, you can find it on the playlist. It says, my mama secret recipes. And you can find her cornbread recipe there. And but then, you'll need to make that first. Yeah, you gotta make this first. And then uh, you can be making, while this is cooking, you can be making your um, uh, dressing that goes on it. And you, what you use is, um, you use a cup of sour cream, but I use two cups. I, I like mine a little bit uh, wet. I don't like it real dry. So I put two cups of sour cream. I put two cups of mayonnaise, but I didn't have, so I mixed them because I didn't have enough of either one. So I mixed them and I'm out of it now. So I had to mix them. And then I used uh, two packages of ranch salad dressing seasoning mix. And then I thought it was a <laughs> week. So uh, somebody sent us this, this ranch seasoning, and I put some of that in there. And I like it better with, with this in there with it. And then all you do is um, you have your pinto beans, your pinto beans, your sweet corn, <coughs> you dice you some tomatoes, and you dice some onions, and peppers, bell peppers, you do your, um, some bacon, make it a little bit crispy, and then you have some uh, cheese. That's a lot of uh, ingredients, isn't it? And all you do is you just mix it, you layer it together. You take your cornbread and you just uh, put it in here, in your bowl. And I love this bowl somebody got me here. And you just layer your cornbread. Yeah, just layer your cornbread in there and then you put each thing in there and just layer it. That's all you do. Uh, and it's real good. I had a, a recipe of it, and then I lost it, and one of the ladies from the YouTube uh, sent me the recipe for it. So I got her recipe, and I started doing it. But, and then you just layer it. So I put my, I put a can of uh, pinto beans in it. And these are, the juice is already drained. Yeah, the juice is drained. <coughs> out of it. I thought it would make it too wet, so I drained it. You put this out, put it all over your... Isn't this a neat bowl to put this in? And then you take one of your corn, your sweet corn, sprinkle it, uh, it around in there. You drain the juice out of that too. Yep, drain it too. And then you take some of your tomatoes, and you put it on here. How many tomatoes is this? Uh, this is three tomatoes right here, three big tomatoes. And you just put it around in there. And then you use some of your onions. We'll probably just make two layers. So you just put your onions around in here. And this is diced up green onions. Yeah, the green onions. And then you take your peppers they're diced too. And this I is our bell peppers. Them. Yeah, bell peppers. Now dice these with that little gadget that I have that dices them with real good. So Corey just got back from going to the doctor. So I thought we'd have everything ready so he can get some rest. But And then you take your bacon and you just break it up in here. And then and the bacon is already cooked bacon. Yeah, it's cooked bacon. Yeah, I cooked it in the oven so it'd be cr uh, crunchy like. So you'll need to make the cornbread already and you'll need to make this uh, seasoning dip yeah. mix. It's the dressing for the fort. Yeah. And your ham and your uh, bacon, you did have it already done. And you could figure the recipe on this is on the back of these things. You could find the recipe to this on the back. Yeah. Okay. 
okay? And then you layer your uh, <coughs> your dressing in here. And there's cheese too. I don't know when oh, you put yep, that. Oh, yeah, the cheese. I put it on there next. Yeah, your cheddar cheese, or whatever kind you like. And you sprinkle all this on here. And this is really good. And then you just kind of pour some of this in there around. I might should have put that on there before. This is really good. We had some at our church uh, dinner yesterday. Corey didn't get to go. He was home in bed. He wasn't feeling too good. I know one thing, when you get that cough, it seemed like it's forever before you could get rid of it. I had it last year. Then you start over again. You use your, your beans you sprinkle it on there. And I had a bad cough for probably four or five days now, and I took some cough medicine to try to get rid of it, and then I had an allergic reaction to the cough medicine, and that's why I had to go to the doctor. Because <clears throat> I've had like a rash break out all over my whole body to where I had an allergic reaction to the medicine. Yeah. And that is not good. And then I had to go get shots. I'm sure nobody likes shots. Especially when you're itching me. around, you want them. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. Then we'll put the rest of our onions. It just makes a real pretty salad. And this is real good if you're going for a church picnic or family picnic or reunion or anything. It is real good for that. I love green peppers and green onions. I love them too. So there that is. And then we'll put the bacon next. I didn't put my cornbread on there, did I? Not yeah. on that layer. You put your cornbread first down. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, while I tear up the rest of my bacon, I'm gonna put some more cornbread down. You layer it any way you want to layer. This is a big bowl that somebody sent me, but this is a big salad too. And if there's some of these ingredients that y'all don't like, y'all can just leave them out. Yeah, I just put what you like. <clears throat> And then if I got a little bit of cornbread left over, I feed it to my chickens. They like bread too. I go to my window in there, y'all seen my red chair in there. I go in there sometimes and my chickens will see us at the window and they'll run down to the edge of the fence and look in there wanting us to throw something out the window to them. It's hilarious. Uh, anytime you go to the window, all the chickens <laughs> come running. Yeah. Some more of this and I put the bacon on top of that. I got a lid for this. Let's just hope it fits, but we'll be eating this this evening. So we're going to have God's true word at um, six o'clock this evening. I'll read a little bit out of the Bible to you while Corey's showing the gifts today. Uh, so if y'all want to hear some uh, Bible reading and some scriptures, make sure to tune in at six o'clock. It'll be a live stream here on this channel. It'll be a live stream though, and it'll say God's true word. Yep, and this is really, really good. You'll have to try, or you might could even use bacon bits with it. You know, whatever you wanna use. And this. Do you put that, the layer of that on yeah, the top again? Yeah, I'm going to. See my lid, isn't that pretty? looks like a little pumpkin yeah it's got pumpkins around the side I love it and it's so big 
You can fix big salads and potato salad, macaroni salad, whatever you want in it. Yeah, somebody sent this like maybe two months ago. Yeah. So whoever sent this, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy seeing it being used so you know that we actually really do use yeah. the stuff. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but Mama's apron that she's wearing is a new apron too. She just got it in the mail earlier today. Yeah, my bowls, my spoon, <laughs> y'all just so good. Well, y'all really furnished me with a lot of uh, kitchen utensils that I never have, <coughs> never did have. You know, and like I've told y'all time and time again, when we started out, we didn't have all this. We had never done this before. And when I first done it, I didn't know it went all over the world. I mean, I, you know, I've heard about YouTube, but I really didn't know what it was all about. <laughs> and there is our cornbread salad. You try it and you'll love it. So there you go. Let's get a little bit over here. And then, and if you want, you can you can even top it with cheese. If you want to make it look a little bit fancy. Yeah, or you could sprinkle bacon bits or yeah. put more bacon on the top if you'd like. Yeah. That's what some people does. They top it with the bacon. Yeah. And then you want to show them that. And then they, oh man, that's heavy too. Look. You can see all the layers <laughs> to the yeah. side. This is what it looks like after it's done. What is this, a cornbread salad? Yeah, cornbread salad. Now here's all the gifts that we got from the past three days, I think, or two days. Saturday and Sunday, we yeah. couldn't go out there, and then today's Monday. So this is three days. Uh, this is the stuff that we got in the mail. And I think all this stuff came in one, one package, the shoes, I guess it was for Mama because he's always barefoot. I guess yeah. somebody was trying to. Getting cold, had to put slippers on, Mama. Yeah, somebody sent her these. I guess for the kitchen, it says. It says thankful and blessed. And I sure am. Yeah, so y'all see her using those in the next video. I'll make sure to have her use them in the next video. And something else, uh, there was people in the comments requesting uh, Mama to update y'all on oh, right. uh, my cousin. So I'll let her update you on it now. Yeah, I forgot about to tell you that. Uh, yeah, she's uh, had a five pound, five ounce uh, baby boy. Mother and baby's doing great, but they're gonna keep the baby in the hospital in the nuke unit, I guess that's how you say it, uh, because it was born a month and eight days early. But they're doing good. They didn't put uh, pictures on Facebook. You might can go on Facebook and see it if you're on Facebook, I don't know. But uh, yeah, they're doing good. So we thank God for that. God answers prayer, doesn't he? Yeah, and we thank y'all for all of y'all that was uh, helping to pray for him. That's right, amen. God is good so all hope, the time. I hope y'all's happy to hear the good news that the baby's healthy and happy, I guess, and uh, yeah. it's doing good. Yeah, it's doing real good. So that's the update that y'all was uh, wanting in the comments. Yeah. We thank y'all for your prayers. Yeah, thank y'all so much for helping us uh, pray for him. It means a lot to us. Yeah. Because every, every prayer counts. And then there's this. It's uh, apple pie. We was going to be making an apple <laughs> apple pie today, I think. No, tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow we going to be making apple pie. So what are the odds that somebody sent the apple pie recipe and it's on like a plaque thing? Yeah, but we'll be making the Ritz <clears throat> malt apple pie. Yeah, it's called a Ritz apple pie, and it's like, it doesn't even have apples in there, It just, no. but it tastes like apple pie. And the first time I tasted one was when I was a little girl, and my grandma Stover fixed it. So I met one of the dinners, and uh, we thought it had apples in it, and she said, no, it don't. It just has crackers in it. I was shocked because it did taste like apples. So and it's good. So I'll try to put that on tomorrow for you. Well, there's the plaque, and it's got the ingredients and everything there and then here's another plaque that says god is good y'all 
my mom says that all the time. She says, yeah. y'all, because we're from West Virginia, for those of y'all that didn't know, we're a little bit hillbilly here. But it wow. says, uh, God is good, y'all. <laughs> oh. And then here's uh, two of these. All this came into one package. And I was digging some more thank you cards. <laughs> yeah, she was probably running low by now on the, her thank you cards. So thank you so much for these, and she'll definitely be using them for sure. Yeah. And uh, so they sent three bottles of this sweet chili sauce. They sent this is burger seasoning, and then there's steak seasoning, and then there's more of this pink Himalayan salt. And this one's already grinded up, so we could actually use this. The one that's not grinded up, we'll have to get like a grinder or something for it to use it. But this one's uh, ready to use. It's already grinded. So thank you so much for all the ingredients and stuff. It really means a lot to us. We'll definitely use it. And uh, this, the Italian seasoning, Papa loves this and he yeah. eats it all the time. He makes a salad like almost every day and he always uses uh, like Italian seasoning and stuff like that on it. So Papa will definitely enjoy those. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for all this. And uh, here's the cards that we got. Two of these was from one person and the other one came in the package with uh, this stuff, I think. But the other two was one said cool for Corey and one of them was for Mama. And this one was for Mama. It had the stamps in it and uh, mine had something in there too. So thank you so much for what you put in the card. And thank you for the cards and for everything you do for us. And Mama said thank you for her card too. It's yeah. got the stamps that she was needing and they're really cool stamps. It's Christmas yeah. stamps. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, I don't have any like that. Yeah, these are cool stamps. It says Christmas on it. So thank Christmas you. Be here before you know it. So thank you so much for the stamps and for the gifts that y'all put into the cards and just for the letters that y'all write us. Uh, it really means a lot to us. And Mama loves reading y'all's letters and reading y'all's notes and stuff that y'all send to her. Yeah, and I try to write you back and send a thank you note or send you a letter or something back. Yeah, anybody who sends a Mama a card, she always puts the. If you put the address your address in the card on the inside then she'll write you a letter back and sometimes she sends gifts back or a thank you letter back or she'll send something back to you mm -hmm. so that's why she goes through so many thank you cards and yeah. so many stamps yeah. so thank y'all so much for all that we love it and we'll definitely be using it all y'all see it on the video she'll have these hung hung up somewhere in the background probably in the next video yeah. but thank y'all so much for that and we love y'all and we're going to have God's true <clears throat> work at 6 o'clock, but I'll go ahead and read a few verses out of, uh, out of my honey's Bible. So, uh, and then we'll uh, do, uh, Sandy and Richard will be here for God's true word this evening at 6 o'clock. So I'll do a little short message here, and um, then we'll get ready for this evening. It says, I'm in Psalms 91. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and in him will I trust. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to trust in the Lord because he takes care of us. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all his ways. And that's what he does. You know, we have angels around us. We can't see them. If we could uh, had spiritual eyes, they could see the, the angels and stuff that's camped around about us. And it even says in the Bible that they can't camp around about us. And I know that to be a fact because God has taken care of me many, many times. You know, and I know angels, I've had angels taking care of me. You know, I, I told you before, when we was in Detroit, there was, um, uh, Milton had went to the gas station, left me in the car, and I got worried and got out of the car, and this taxi cab driver come along, and um, 
uh, picked me up and was taking me to the police station to find Milton, but we found him. He was at a gas station. I should have just stayed in the car, but I got worried about him. That's when we first married. And then another time was when I had a hysterectomy and uh, everything went wrong. We got infected and everything. And uh, the doctor sent me to the pharmacy. I couldn't go in because I was so sick. Milton had to go in and get the prescription. And lo and behold, there was a new uh, man in there. And uh, it wasn't a man, it was an angel. And he told Milton, he said, I can't give you this prescription because it will kill her. You know, and that doctor was leaving that day and he was going out of town and he said, I'm gonna write this prescription for you. And he said, he has wrote prescriptions like this before and I would not fill them because I know it would hurt the patients. So, you know, God takes care of us. He sends his angels round about to take care of us, you know. I love the Lord and I thank him, you know. We just have to trust in him. So y'all have a good day and we'll be with you again at six o'clock. Y'all make sure to tune in for God's true word. And we'll see y'all there. It'll be a live stream. Yeah. We love y'all. Thank yeah. you for everything. I hope y'all enjoyed the reading too. What verse was this? This is in Psalms 91. Psalms 91. 1 to uh, uh, 11. And that's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all had a good time watching Mama show you another one of her famous recipes. And we love y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Amen. Love y'all.